Hi, everybody. Welcome again to Conversational English, Book One. Today, for Lesson 11, we find both Martha and Carolyn still out after they've gone shopping for cosmetics. Their next stop on a very busy day is going to be at a beauty salon. They're going to have their hair done. So lesson 11, not surprisingly, therefore, is called hair styling. Mm. So, you know, go to the next one. 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 So, you know, well, this is a very long dialogue, and we hope you're going to have fun as we had fun making it they for will. you. <laughs> so let's take a look at it for our first time. You're right on time for your four o'clock appointment. Oh, who is this divine beauty? Your sister? <laughs> I can tell when you are fishing for a larger tip, Derek. And you haven't seen my daughter Carolyn in years. That's why you don't recognize her. My, my. Beauty runs deep in this family. <laughs> Hi, Carolyn. Uh, your mother dragged you here some years ago when she had an appointment with me. I'm Derek, and welcome to Here's the Answer. Pleased to meet you, Derek. That's a cool name for your salon. Well, thanks. Now, let's see. What will it be today? Um, I'll just need the works, Derek. And, uh... Just a uh, rinse, shampoo, and cut for Carolyn. We have to be out of here by six. Yeah. Oh, not a problem. Uh, Laureen will take care of the washing, and I'll do the cutting. Mm -hmm. uh, when you say the works, Martha, mm -hmm. uh, will that include a pedicure and manicure? Um, just manicure. I'll have a pedicure next time. Well then, uh, Loreen, uh, will you start uh, with Mrs. Casey then? Sure. Please come with me, Mrs. Casey, and we'll get you started. this warmer weather I'd like my hair up um, I don't want any shorter so I still have a choice that makes perfect sense <sighs> it'll be hard but uh, I'll try to improve on perfection <laughs> you have such a way with the words Derek and Carolyn just need a trim right honey uh, yeah I want to keep my hair long too Uh, Laureen, uh, please bring some hot coffee for our guests. I have to get my special scissors. Uh, did you notice that Derek is, um, I mean, he's um, gay? Uh, sure I did. 
as soon as I saw him. So? How did you know? How do you know about such things? Oh, come on, Mom. It's the 21st century. It's only your generation that still has problems with gays and lesbians. Derek seems like a really nice guy. Well, he is. It's just, I don't want you to feel um, upset that he's, um... He's... I'm only upset that you still care about other sexual orientation. I wonder what they are teaching kids these days in colleges. I hope she doesn't mention this to her father. Thanks. Well, Laureen, are you ready? Let's bring out the best in these two beauties. Ready, set, go. Well, that's quite a long dialogue, so let's take a short break before going to part three and helping you with the vocabulary. Mm, Okay, we're ready now. Part three, words and phrases. Let's get busy. Number one, cheeks. Cheeks. 脸颊. Dad's cheeks always turn a little red after he's had a beer to drink. 老爸喝过啤酒后, Number two, divine. Divine. 超美的. How do I look in my new dress, Nancy? You look divine in it, dear. Nancy, 你觉得我穿新衣服好不好看啊? 你看起来美极了,亲爱的。Number three. Fish for something. Fish for something. 博取. Mom started talking about her health problems at the family gathering, fishing for sympathy. 全家聚会时，老妈开始谈她的健康问题，博取大家的同情。Number four, tip. Tip. 小费。I always leave a waiter a fifteen percent tip if the service is good. 如果服务好的话，我都会给服务人员百分之十五的小费。Number five, run deep. Run deep. Gary rarely talks about himself and never boasts. Neither do his brothers. Humility runs deep in his family. Gary Number six. The works. The works. 全部, Marvin was so hungry that he ordered the works for dinner. Soup, salad, the main meal, and dessert. Marvin Number seven. Shampoo. Shampoo. 洗发精. After Sally got home, she showered and shampooed her hair. Sally回家之后呢, About the word shampoo, don't forget it can be used as we do here as a verb, but also, of course, as a noun. I need to buy some shampoo to shampoo my hair. Okay,所以呢,Bruce老师怀疑自己头上的不知道是不是头发啊。所以shampoo呢,这个字呢,可以当动词,也可以当名词。那呢,shampoo my to buy some shampoo,所以你不可以说 one or two shampoo, right? Male shampoo, well, two kinds of shampoo, uh, two different shampoos, mm -hmm. that's possible. <coughs> but as a noun, 
uh, I need to buy some shampoo. You cannot say, I need to buy a shampoo, eh, because shampoo is usually a liquid, so some water, some oil, some milk, some shampoo. 用一些就好了, mm, okay? All right, number eight. Cut. Cut. 发型. Most guys in Taiwan prefer a shortcut in their hairstyles during the long, hot summers. 大多数台湾的男性在夏天比较喜欢把头发剪短. Number nine. Pedicure. Pedicure. 修脚指甲. Before a pedicure, it is necessary to place your feet into a bowl of warm water to soften the toenails before cutting them. 修脚指甲前必须用一碗温水泡脚让脚指甲变软. Number ten. Manicure. Manicure. 修手指甲. Alice enjoys a manicure twice a month to keep her fingernails looking pretty and healthy. Number 11. Barber chair. Barber chair. Li Fa Yi. Mr. Tsai almost fell asleep in the large, comfortable barber chair while having a haircut. Number 12. Wrap. Wrap. After the snake bit his leg, Thomas wrapped his leg tightly with a towel and went to the hospital. Number 13. Hair up. Hair up. Brenda keeps her hair up to feel cooler during the summer months. Brenda 夏天把头发绑起来会觉得凉快些. About number 13, hair up is usually placed with a verb, but there are many verbs we can use, so we didn't write one here in the phrase itself. In the sentence, we used keep her hair up. We could have put your hair up. Hold your hair up. Have your hair up. Dung dung. But the key is uh, for the ladies, the hair is up or you leave or let the hair down. 嗯,所以這裡的重點不是老師在跟大家說明的呢,就是呢,你要把頭髮綁起來這件事有好幾種說法,哦,但是呢,重點是你注意到後面都一定有一個up這個 字哦，那么同样的，如果是把头发放下来的话，它用的就是down，所以是up right. Let's go ahead to number fourteen. Make sense. Make sense. 有道理. I don't agree with you, but what you say makes sense. 我不同意你的看法，但你说的有道理. Number fifteen. Have a way with words. Have a way with words. 善于言辞. Dale has no trouble making girlfriends because he has a way with words. Dale 很容易交到女朋友,因为他很会说话. Number 16. Trim. Trim. 修. In the winter, when I get a haircut, I just want to trim. Because long hair makes me feel warmer. Number 17. Scissors. Scissors. Sharp pointed scissors are not allowed in carry on bags at most airports. Number 18. Gay. Gay. 男同性恋. My uncle Bob is a gay. He never married and lives with his boyfriend. Bob Number 19. 
the 21st century. The 21st century. 二十一世纪 Many people feel that the 21st century will bring many social changes throughout the world. 许多人都觉得二十一世纪会给全世界带来许多社会上的改变。Number twenty, generation, generation, 世代 People in the older generation are more likely to be religious than the youth. 老一辈的人比年轻人更可能信仰宗教 Number twenty one, lesbian, lesbian, 女同性恋 Attracted to other women. Nancy admitted to being a lesbian. Nancy 喜欢女生，所以承认自己是同性恋。Number twenty-two, upset, upset. 心情不好，觉得不舒服。Jules was upset when his sister ate the last piece of chocolate cake without telling him. Jules 的妹妹呢，没告诉他，就把最后一块巧克力蛋糕给吃掉了，所以 Jules 很不高兴。Number twenty-three, sexual orientation. Sexual orientation. 性吸引力。A great debate today in medicine is whether one's sexual orientation is predetermined or chosen. 今天医学上一个重大的争议就是一个人的性吸引力到底是天生的还是后天培养的。Number twenty-four, re-enter, re-enter. 再次进入。The waiter took our order and then re-entered the room twenty minutes later with our meal. 服务生记下我们点的菜之后离开，二十分钟后端着我们的餐点再次的进来。A word here about number twenty-four. Notice we use the 短线 the hyphen, r e hyphen, e n t e r, because without it, it might look like reenter, a word. There is no such word. So to help the reader. Quickly see what the word is. We sometimes do that. So cooperation. Sometimes you see people C O Duan Xian O P Dun Dun. Some people don't. There's not a rule here. It's what the writer thinks will help the reader. 嗯，那么这里的话，布鲁斯老师跟同学解释我们常常讲的那个 hyphen 短线，它的用意哦，其实是在于让这个呃读者知道说作者本来是把哪两个字的意思想要结合在一块。那其实呢，并没有规定说一定要有那个短线，所以有时候像刚刚布鲁斯老师举的 cooperation 合作这一个字呢，有的人 co c o 后面会用短线，有的人就不用。那这个是个人的选择。Right, and our last word number twenty five. Bring out the best in. Bring out the best in. 把最好的表现或诱发出来 Whenever her favorite granddaughter Kathy is around, it seems to bring out the best in Grandma. Kathy 是奶奶最疼爱的孙女，所以每当 Kathy 在的时候，奶奶都好的不得了 Before we go on to our quiz, just a quick word about Part Four. Uh, for those of you who have hair and enjoy hair styling and so on,、uh, make sure you listen to、uh, the week's radio program for more vocabulary on it. 嗯，所以呢，如果喜欢弄头发、把自己搞得美美的这个同学的话，这一周的这个电台千万不要错过，因为会学到很多跟美发有相关的英文单词。Now let's take our short break before the quiz. 嗯，我们休息一下，马上回来。All right. Let's get busy with our quiz. As usual, we have five questions to ask you. Each question with three choices. Choose the best answer. Here's number one: to stop doing something, but then start doing it again, is to blank it. What do we put in the blank? 
A. Resume. B. Tackle. Or C. Remind. Of course, the answer is A. Resume means to continue doing something. 第一题呢，这个停止做某事之后，接着又再继续做，那么应该选的答案当然就是 A 啊，就是这个继续接下去做。And now, number two, what are nurses and doctors always concerned about? Are they always concerned about A pedicure, or B hygiene, or C ointment? All right, nurses and doctors work towards our health. Uh, hygiene does mean health, especially public health, or sometimes personal health too.、Uh, the other choices may be sometimes, but not always. Hmm. So, 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 And violent-looking entertainment on TV is blank. Is it A. dragging, B. betting, or C. wrestling? Well, it wouldn't be dragging. That's not a sport or activity or a program. Betting is what we put on our bed. That's not even a verb. Wrestling is your answer. C. 嗯，那么第三题呢，在电视上面一个非常的受欢迎，而且看起来很暴力的一种娱乐节目是什么呢？那么正确答案就是 C， 摔跤。嗯 ，Number four, in the United States and Europe, most customers will leave a blank for the waiter or waitress. What do they leave? Is it A, tip, B, generation, or C, cut? The answer is a tip. Okay, 第四题呢，在美国或欧洲，大部分的客户呢，在这个桌上呢，会留给服务生一个什么？正确答案是 A， 小费。Our final question, number five. Mark was so hungry that he ordered his pizza with blank. Is it A, napkins, B, buns, or C, the works? Well, Mark is a guy's name. We guys don't order napkins.、Uh, buns would go with hot dogs or hamburgers, but the works means remember everything, and guys like to eat a lot. So C is your answer. 嗯，第五题呢，马克是那么样的饿，以至于呢，他的披萨点的是那正确答案当然就是 C， 是整套的餐。Okay, we hope you did well on the quiz. Now that we've reviewed the vocabulary and some quiz items,、yeah. let's watch the dialogue the second time. This time, you should be able to understand even more. 嗯，那我们赶快来看看第二次对话的影片有没有听懂更多喽。You're right on time for your four o'clock appointment. Oh, who is this divine beauty? Your sister? <laughs> I can tell when you are fishing for a larger tip, Derek. And you haven't seen my daughter Caroline in years. That's why you don't recognize her. My my, beauty runs deep in this family. <laughs> Hi, Caroline. Uh, your mother dragged you here some years ago when she had an appointment with me. I'm Derek, and welcome to. Here's the answer. Please do meet you, Derek. That's a cool name for your salon. Well, thanks. Now let's see. What will it be today? Um. 
I'll just need the works, Derek. And uh, just a rinse, shampoo, and cut for Carolyn. We have to be out of here by six. Yeah. Oh, not a problem. Uh, Laureen will take care of the washing and I'll do the cutting. Mm -hmm. uh, when you say the works, Martha, mm -hmm. uh, will that include a pedicure and manicure? Um, just manicure. I'll have a pedicure next time. Well then, uh, Laureen, uh, will you start uh, with Mrs. Casey then? Sure. Please come with me, Mrs. Casey, and we'll get you started. this warmer weather I'd like my hair up um, I don't want any shorter so I still have a choice that makes perfect sense uh, it'll be hard but uh, I'll try to improve on perfection <laughs> you have such a way with the words Derek and Carolyn just need a trim right honey uh, yeah I want to keep my hair long too Uh, Laureen, uh, please bring some hot coffee for our guests. I have to get my special scissors. Uh, did you notice that Derek is, um, I mean, he's um, gay? Uh, sure I did, as soon as I saw him. So? How did you know? How do you know about such things? Oh, come on, Mom. It's the 21st century. It's only your generation that still has problems with gays and lesbians. Derek seems like a really nice guy. Well, he is. It's just, I don't want you to feel um, upset that he's, um... He's... I'm only upset that you still care about other sexual orientation. I wonder what they are teaching kids these days in colleges. I hope she doesn't mention this to her father. Thanks. Well, Laureen, are you ready? Let's bring out the best in these two beauties. Ready, set, go. So Martha and Carolyn continue their busy day. For the next two lessons, they are going to continue to go out and have a good time. 嗯,所以在接下来的两课里面呢,Martha的母女呢,还要继续再逛下去,继续再玩下去,所以呢,同学一定要再回来跟我们一起看看他们还要做些什么事情。Until next week, bye bye.